Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've made a wax video. Also, I just got off work, so we have the fabulous bun going and the awful face situation, but um, I came home to a couple boxes of wax, and so I really wanted to smell them. I just felt like it. Um, you know, what's kind of driven me to take a break from videos was that I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like kind of being a part of the wax community sometimes. Um, and I felt like I was just like, I'm just going to let my emotions kind of drive what I do. And, you know, I got this wax today and I thought, I want to make a video on this. Um, a, because this first little one that I'm going to talk about is kind of, you know, unique and special. Um, it's from the bathing garden and I feel like they, she always, sorry, my kids are still awake. My husband's trying to get them in bed and Jocelyn's in the shower right there. So if you hear screaming and clapping, that's Jossie. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's from the bathing garden and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I guess I don't want to talk too much about, I mean, everyone kind of saw the wax chat comments and stuff. And I do want to say, cause like, quite a few people got a little, uh, not upset cause whatever. They just shared their opinion about that. Like they're allowed to say whatever they want about YouTube videos. And they are, they're allowed to say whatever they want. I'm also allowed to say like what I know as a wax YouTuber. Oh, there was many comments alluding to that. We as wax tubers, and I know a lot of people said they weren't talking about me, but I do feel like, I mean, I'm friends with so many people in the wax community. I'm friends with a lot of the wax YouTubers. And unless I am missing out on somebody, unless I am like late to the party, I don't know those people. I don't know. I don't know anyone that makes money on wax unless you're like a vendor. Um, none of us have enough sus subscribers to make any kind of money. Like, I, I guess not any kind. Um, I, I imagine that there's a few people out there that have enough subscribers because they do more things than just wax that they might get maybe 10 bucks a month or something like that. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to make money on YouTube. Um, and it's, it's not a goal of mine, so whatever. But you have to have an amazing amount of subscribers plus an amazing amount of views. And even if you have that, you then have to have people watch the entire commercial or ad or whatever that's in your video so many times. And all of that together, you get 20 cents from. So if it comes together that you have at least over a thousand subscribers, you have like I can't remember the exact numbers, like 40,000 or 4,000 or something views on a specific video and people watch the full ads in your videos, which I don't add myself. YouTube does that. Then each one of those views gets 20 cents to you. So I just want you to know that most of us, like the people that are like the amount of subscribers I have or like kind of in the same realm as me-ish. Um, like I just buy all my wax and tell you about it. I make $0 from YouTube. Um, so the comments about that were super weird, even though those specific people said it wasn't towards me. So I recognize that, but then who are you talking about as far as that goes? Cause everyone's like, they trying to get coin and stuff. I don't know what coin they're talking about. Um, so I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I just was very confused. Like totally valid. Like there were some comments about some people being annoyed by certain wax YouTubers voices. Totally get that. We all have sounds that drive us crazy, including voices. So I totally understand that. Um, my voice can be annoying and those people said they weren't talking about me. That's fine. But I'm sure there are people that listen to me that think my voice is annoying. Totally get that. I think certain other people's voices are annoying. Um, and then there's certain, I, there were some specific comments made towards me about, um, talking about the pharmacist daughter's wax. Um, I do, and I'm open about that. They do send me wax and I do review it for them because they were a very young company and I review for them. Um, and I've told you guys that. And, but I also spend a lot of my own money on their wax. I post my hauls on their page on Facebook. I share it with you on videos. 
all of that that isn't about their releases, that's what I buy out of my own pocket. Literally, besides what you see me show you on The Pharmacist's Daughter, which actually is going to be my second video after this bathing garden haul, and it is going to be a restock for tomorrow, anything that I'm not telling you about, like a current restock, like this is happening in the future, and these are the scents so you guys can know, every other thing I buy myself. Period. And I'm... I'm a very transparent person, and once again, I know that maybe they were talking about other people, but I must really be missing out on channels that I don't see. That's all I can say. Um, I don't know. I'm a big fan of a lot of lots of other wax YouTubers. I listen to so I listen to lots of books, like Audible books, on the way to and from work because I drive 35 miles each way. I've said that before. But as I'm getting ready for work, before I leave for work, I listen to wax videos. Um, I will say, because I work weekends, um, if you guys follow Nicole Perry, I know I talk about her all the time. She probably thinks I'm a weird stalker. Um, she puts her wax empties, uh, wax basket, la la la, up on the weekends. So I listen to it while I am getting ready for work. I love listening to, she's Wax Melts BFF on Instagram, but she's, oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? Because I love her so much. How am I? Angela. But what is her channel? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. That totally just went out of my mind. Wax Melts BFF on Instagram. I will have to put it in my box because I love Angela. And her and I have swapped wax, perfumes, talk all the time, like all this stuff. So I'm so sorry. Why? I'm sorry. That's really annoying. I'm literally going off on a tangent here. But I, I love multiple, like various waxies that have different opinions, that like different scents, that sound different, that look different, that are in different parts of the United States. Like we are all different humans and that's part of what makes it great. What bugged me, I think the most is, here's the thing. What bugged me the most was I spend a lot of money on wax. That's my choice. So no one's fault. <clears throat> But I also spent a lot, a lot of my personal time answering like DMs about wax, answering questions in multiple vendors groups, uh, Facebook messages, like all this stuff, which is fine because I also choose to do that. But it's almost, this sounds so selfish saying this, but it's like almost a little bit of a service that some of us give because people ask a lot of questions of what smells like what, how strong is this, la 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 la, that we answer it's literally, this time I spend on that is almost a part-time job. And once again, my fault, um, because I give that time of myself. But it it already was taking so much time in my life. And then here comes this like multiple comments in a group about how a lot of us are annoying and selfish and trying to make money and on and on and on. And I'm like, gosh, I was just sitting here thinking that I need to like get out of it because it's eating, it's like taking so much time in my life. All it's taking is money and time and giving me, it, I mean, it's given me friends. It's given me a community that I do love, but we don't get anything else. It just sounded like reviews of like a company that makes money against YouTubers. Does that make sense? And it seemed very twisted and weird to me. We are just people that buy wax that tell you about it. We're no gurus. We're no like money makers, like rich people. If you don't like it, like we're super small channels, don't watch it. It's very strange to me um, that someone can be that strongly opinionated about this. Whatever. It's very weird. Sorry. I do not mean to be raining on the bathing gardens parade, but I have a Valentine's day haul. It's really small. Um, but um, I've talked about this with candy before. Sorry. I'm switching gears now because I don't know what else to say about that. Um, so me and Candy were talking about this. I don't really love Valentine's Day because of like, I love someone so much and like, I'm so deeply in love with someone and I want to give them a box of chocolates. I literally like Valentine's Day because of the marketing. I love the hearts, the pink, the, oh, okay, hold on. Jocelyn's coming out of the shower. Joss, go to your room, honey. And my husband's yelling at the kids. This is great. Jossie, go to your room, honey. She is not dressed. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Um, I literally love Valentine's Day because of the marketing. I love the sparkly pink 
things, red, pink, hearts, la, la, la. Like, I just think it's so cute. And I love buying stuff like that for my kids. Um, and I love that the Bathing Garden does a Valentine's Day collection. And it's adorable. Plus, I have been looking out for her pink sugar pie crust. And she put out these mini pies of them. And they're adorable. Um, so that's part of my order. So um, it, my order is actually really small. But I got a, that fabulous bag of samples that she always gives. Why is my dog barking? I just need someone to hold it together out there for a second. Um, anyways, so I literally got two of the pink pie crusts, one jumbo clam, and one small regular clam, one sugar scrub, and one small lotion. That is my order. And then the rest is samples. So we'll do the samples first. I actually wrote down the notes of the things that I bought. Um, but obviously not of the samples because I haven't even opened it. The samples are in this adorable Valentine's bag with little lips on it. Russell, Russell, Russell. The first one in here is circus bread. I think if you have followed Bathing Garden for a while, you've probably smelled circus bread because this is one of her very popular scents. Um, I think, I mean, this gets me a little bit excited because... It must be, she always gives us samples of the next release. So is she doing her circus release next? Ugh, you know who will be excited about that is, um, why am I forgetting names? It's because I've been at work all day. Charity. Because she does, Charity loves those like circus, like, um, like uh, circus concession scents. And so I bet she'll love that release. Um, anyways, circus bread. This is like a bread and jam kind of scent. And a lot of people really like it. I have melted it before and I like it too. Can someone get the dog? Okay. The next one is raspberry hearts. It's a little heart bunt. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog bark. There is nothing I can do about that. This smells like a very perfumey floral raspberry. Not Yeah, the raspberry hearts is not my jam. That smells like raspberry flowers and perfume um this next one it looks like a little ice cream scoop um i will take it out for you to show you it's cotton candy ice cream oh wow i can like literally smell like vanilla ice cream in that but look how cute that is little teeny sample i get mostly like a really creamy really vanilla ice cream with just a touch of cotton candy that's more of a vanilla based scent to me because I actually really don't like cotton candy scents all that much. So I'm pretty sensitive to what it smells like. Yeah, that I mean, the cotton candy is there. That is a very thick vanilla ice cream. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, this smells I saw on the outside of the bag, and I thought this was adorable. This is Love Story, but look at this melt. <clears throat> so pretty. Let me see if I can get it to focus like this. Look how pretty that is. Oh, whoa. Okay, what is this? Let me put it in the bag so I can smell it better. That smells like that bubble gum that has the really strong, like, winter green. That smells like winter green bubble gum. Interesting. Oh, I have another of that shape, but in a little bit darker pink. And this is in Luscious or Lucius. Oh, wow. That smells like strawberry candy. Like, definitely like strawberry candy. Yeah. I mean, these are like, that's like a Valentine's. Like, it smells like you'd take out a hard strawberry candy. So, <laughs> um, this next one is Circus Cake. And it is in a little bunt. Some brightly colored, like, sequins and actually, like, sprinkles on the top. Hmm. Does it have maybe a little bit of coconut in it? Like creamy coconut, maybe. It's almost like a creamy coconut cake is what it smells like to me anyway. Another little bunt cake. Oh, this one has some cute uh, glitter. This is Bohemian Rhapsody. Very light. Like body care-ish, maybe? Like a berry body care. I love those little heart glitters on the top. 
Yeah, maybe like a berry body care. I don't know. Um, and then I got, it looks like a body care sample. This is in Love Orange, and it's this little tub here. Uh, there's no sticker. Oh, Shea Oil Sugar Scrub. There you go. That's on the sticker. Ooh. So this does not smell like orange juice or orange candy. That smells like legit, like the pulp and all that stuff. Someone's coming in the door. I'm so sorry. Who's this? Hi, Jossie. You gotta go to bed, honey. I love you. Yeah, that smells like a legit orange. Huh. I like that. And I've had her Shea, um, Shea oil body scrub before, and I do really like it. So I'm glad to have that sample. There's one last little thing in here. It's a, I think it's a wax tart. It is, but it's in a separate little bag here. So if I can get into it. I am not good at opening things, guys. You should see the cereal bags I open. My husband always jokes that <laughs> he can't tell if it's me or the kids, and he's right. That opens the bag. Uh, this is in vanilla sprinkles, and it's gorgeous, this melt. Oh, wow. That smells like a really, like, thick vanilla cookie with thick vanilla frosting and, like, vanilla sprinkles. That is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Very, like, dense, rich vanilla. My husband's having a rough time with the dog barking out there. The dog's in his little corral and everyone's like getting ready for bed and he doesn't want to be stuck in there by himself. Okay, so that is the samples. What do you need? Oh, stinky pillow. You guys get to see a view of what happens at, with my family at night. Okay, so the first thing, the whole reason I made the order, Candy told me, hey, Danny, the pink sugar pie crust is on the site. And I was like, Oh, that means her Valentine's stuff out. And yay, I need some pink sugar, some pink sugar pie crust. And then when I got on the site, I was so excited. First of all, here's the sticker, pink sugar pie crust to see that it wasn't just in clams. It was in these freaking adorable pies. And actually when I first um, experienced the scent, it was in a sample as one of these little pieces of pie. Um, so like I said, I got two, um, and I just, I felt lucky to even get that because this is a very popular scent for her. I think I did see the regular clam shell size, like this size that she sold, but there was no jumbo clams in it or anything. Um, so just the, these pies and then the small clams, she, it's possible that she had the large clams, but they might've been sold out. It's just so good. Um, it literally is pink sugar perfume and pie crust. There's no, like, I don't want to say it's not special because it really is, but her pink sugar oil smells more like pink sugar perfume, like the actual perfume. Cause I wear it almost every day. Um, than any other oil I've ever smelled. Like I smell this and I feel like I've just sprayed a spray of pink sugar perfume in my face. I like a lot of other vendors, pink sugars. I love a lot of different versions of pink sugar. Um, and they all smell similar, but this smells legitimately like the perfume. Let me just pull one of the pie crust pieces out so you can see like what she's done to the top, like for the Valentine's day. Um, eh, all those glitters aren't going to focus, but there's so many different like multi-dimensional glitter here, all different kinds of hearts, all different like pinks, silvers, iridescent. And it's amazing. I feel so thankful to have these two pies and I'm so excited to have them. They are beautiful. So anyways, super happy, super, super happy to have those two pies. And then I got one small clam and this is in blush. Um, oh, I figured I didn't need to tell you the notes of the pink sugar pie crust because it's literally pink sugar and pie crust. Um, but blush, this clam is boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, pomegranate, and soft vanilla. And look at this. Look at those. I love these like hollow hearts like they it's just like the border of a heart and look at that rose Ugh. and it I mean it kind of it kind of smells like strawberry jello <laughs> hold on so once again boysenberries elderberries strawberries guava pomegranate and soft vanilla 
Yeah, it kind of smells like strawberry. Maybe like strawberry peach jello. Yeah, so it's fruity. It's it's okay, but it's pretty. It's very Valentine smelling. Um, I mean, something, that's why it's got one clam, something I will melt for Valentine's Day. And then I've never smelled this before, but I wanted to get one large clam because even though like these original clamshells are like, I think her main like work of art, her large clamshells are stunning. And so I looked through all the large clamshells that she had. And this one, just, I've never had it before, but it just seemed like something that would be new and different to anything else I have in my collection. Um, that would be fun for Valentine's Day. So this one is called Parisian Strawberry Fields. And the notes here are ripe strawberries, vanilla, mango, and peaches. I just thought it would be fun. And the things are already falling off. Like these little, let me see if I can hold them on. Okay, there's so much happening on this. Okay, so first off, these little heart gems are falling off. But then there's like little round sprinkles. There's heart sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, hexagon sprinkles. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> I... Don't love cleaning out of the warmer, but I like looking at it in the warmer. I'm trying to put it close enough, but not to tip it because all this stuff is like loose. Maybe I'll tip it towards the lid and then maybe get closer to you. Um, okay. <laughs> um, th there's so much happening here. I, so I like seeing it in the dish after. I think it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, does it make a mess? Yes, it does. But sometimes that's fine because you have special wax that day. So this kind of smells similar to blush in that the strawberry here, it does smell very juicy, but it smells like strawberry jello. It smells like peachy rings and strawberry jello. So not my favorite scent, but the work of art here totally, I don't want to say makes up for it because the scent isn't like bad by any means. I mean, I knew what I was buying. It was very fruity wax. Um, I literally bought it for the look of it. <laughs> so, um, but it, it smells like a really fun, fruity, like strawberry jello with peach rings is like what this smells like. Um, so I'm excited to have it. Um, and then I ordered, sorry, got a sequence in my nose. Um, I had never tried this. I got this, um, lotion because I wanted to try the formula of the lotion. Um, I got it just in the small one. I think she does a bigger one of this too. The formula is called Silky Smooth Body Lotion, and I got it in the scent, The Sweetest Thing. And the notes for that are red berries, cherries, peaches, citrus, faint, and a faint walk through a garden inspired by lush, yummy, yummy. I smelled a lot of lush things. I don't know what yummy, yummy is. So, interesting. Um, it's kind of this, like, whipped... Maybe someone was talking about it and I, that's why I went to go look at it. It feels silicone-y. So that's probably this, this silky. The ingredients are actually on the back. So let me see. Like it literally stays in there. Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dimethicone is like a third of the way down. But there definitely is. I mean, there's soybean oil, shea butter, uh, sunflower oil aloe. So yeah. And the first ingredient is water, which I actually like. I have very oily skin. I actually really like when the first ingredients water in lotions. So yeah, it does feel the silkiness is from like a, a, the, the dimethicone, but there is also glycerin, glycerol in it that it, it you do feel kind of like a coating which if you have really dry skin, you want that because you want to prevent that evaporative like water loss from your skin. I'm not getting much scent off this. I will say the last ingredient is in this is fragrance oil, which is actually, that's good for your skin. I'm not smelling any type of red berries, cherries, peaches, maybe a walk through a garden. This smells like a, like a green floral almost. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to use it more. But um, yeah, I'm not smelling. It does not smell fruity to me. Then the last thing I got um, was a larger one of her scrubs. I've gotten her scrubs in the smaller version before. And I've tried to stay away from the coconut oil um, sh uh, sugar scrub from her. Not because I've had a coconut oil one from her before and it's gone bad. It's because in general, coconut oil, because of my skin type, it really 
occludes my skin and will break me out. Not because I'm allergic to it. It's because it's very occlusive for my skin type, which is once again, very oily. But this was the only one in the pink sugar pie crust. There is a body scrub in pink sugar pie crust. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. This, this label is a little bit blurry, so it's kind of hard to read. Um, the first ingredient is sugar and then the next ingredient is coconut oil. So I might, I'm usually safe to use coconut oil on my feet and lower legs and just my elbows. So I might just use it for that. Um, oh gosh, pink sugar pie crust, you guys. And so it has all those, I call those like sugar crystal sparkles. Um, I'd imagine it's called pink sugar pie crust that it's pink. Um, I don't know, but it smells just like the melt. Oh my gosh. I wish you would do pink sugar pie crust more often because this, I know once again, it doesn't sound like anything crazy unique, but it's beautiful. Like whatever oil, whichever oil she does, whichever like, uh, what portions, proportions of those oils she does. It's magical. So I'm so happy to have that. Anyways, that is it from the bathing garden. And I'm so happy to have that. I love her pink sugar pie crust. Once again, I am not saying anything bad about these strawberry scents. I knew what I was buying. Um, it's not something I melt a lot of, but that's why I only got one of each. And it's fun to have maybe for a summer or around Valentine's day. So anyways, thank you. Um, I, real quick after this, I'm going to be doing, um, a bunch of the scents that um, the pharmacist daughter is going to be releasing tomorrow. So I'm going to record that really quick and I'll upload this and I hope you guys are doing well. See you later. Bye.